Am I here? I don't know if I'm here. Hmm. Well, hi. Um, I'm Melinda, and you now in the background, my studio. I don't know if you guys are here. Hmm. Oh wait, there's people showing up. Okay. Um, hi Amy, hi Jen. I see that you're here. So, yeah. I guess I will try to start this thing. So, here we go. Let's see. I'm trying to get my tripod down. So, yeah, I was hoping I could see comments or something, but but I don't. So, I guess I will. Oh, I can see myself. I'll just start. So, oh, there's the comments. Oh yeah, you guys are here. So here's the rock. Um, oh my gosh, let me turn off the volume on my iPad. I don't need to hear myself. Okay. So hi Josh. Um, hopefully I stay in the in the frame. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Hi Mari. Oh my gosh, we need to hang out since our Windover trip didn't didn't work out. Um, so for this rock, I guess I'm just using every color in the rainbow plus pink to make it easy. I can show you the colors. Oh, thanks. Is, is it Shay? I'm so bad at names. I'm glad you guys can hear me. So I, I, when I film my tutorials, I wear a mic. So, um, okay. So the colors I'm going to use is this red, uh, orange, yellow, uh, light green, I guess it says it's a mint green, uh, turquoise, you could use whatever blue you like though, and let's see, this bright pink, and a purple. I think I pulled out this one earlier, this violet. And I I use um, artist white and black. I guess you'd call them artists. It's a student grade fancy paint, I guess. Comes out a lot thicker, but um, this is what I'm used to uh, painting with. So just white and black. Okay, still getting over being sick. Um, to tell you the truth, when I started painting these fluffer corns, um, I actually finished them and did the horns with these Posca pens, so this will be the first time I do it with a paintbrush. Oh, like Shy. Okay. Thanks, Shy. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I just need to mix up a little bit of light pink and you could do this with either just doing you know red and white or um, pink and white so I'm just gonna do some pink and white cuz I'm lazy am I sideways you guys this is completely sideways hold on Maybe have an earthquake. There we go. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, and I'm just gonna make a furry little blob. You see that? Oh shoot! I gotta do his feet first. So I'll add some feet in a second. 
So it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a round blob. With light pink. Yeah, sorry about that. That was weird though, because now my, <clears throat> my tripod's kind of blocking me, but we'll see. Okay, so little little pink blob. I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna start the horn. So I'm gonna pick up a super small amount of red. Hi Hope. Hi Kyle. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't knock my tripod over. Okay, so if you guys could actually see how I'm having to paint, it's pretty funny. Okay, so I'm gonna put red on the bottom. And this doesn't have to be perfect either, so. And then a little bit of orange. I guess the only rule is it just needs to get smaller as it goes up. So there's that. And then a little bit of yellow. Let's set this down. And I'm just using a number zero round brush. So, so any like small tip brush is gonna work. So. And then green. As you know, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more because I have all this paint out now. Um, a little bit of green. And then a little bit of the turquoise color. Hi, Bobby. I like your little lovey smiley face. Okay. The blue. Oh. And then purple and pink. I guess you wouldn't have to top it off with pink, but I, I think it's cute, so. So those little dots of pink getting smaller all the way up. I'm just rinsing and then like wiping off all the excess water off my brush. <laughs> this little guy's gonna have a crooked horn. Okay. So, there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in his feet because his horn needs to dry. Um, cause before I usually put on any more fluff. I outline as his horn so there's any fluff going over it and his his feet down there are just like I don't know half of a coffee bean type shape so they're just little upside down you things <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm fine with the crooked horn. I think he's kind of cute. He's he's had a rough day. It's kind of funny, even though they all kind of look the same. They they all turn out different. So I actually hope you guys do paint some, because it'd be fun to see see how you guys' uh, turn out. So. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the one thing I noticed about some of the colors of the Craft Smart paint is kind of thin, so you might have to put I don't know a few coats on. Oh, Latanya, I hope you I hope you try. So. Okay. So now, hopefully his horn's dry enough. 
and I've got to find a brush. Let's see. So I think I'm going to try this one first. It's a 20 over zero. I think it's a spotter. So, but just any any type of thin brush. I might try the the liner too. Well, maybe I'll try the liner first. Okay. So I'm going to outline his horn. Some black. I can keep him in the camera. Like where I have to hold my breath every single time, and like, I swear it never gets any easier. Yeah, he'll be okay. Yeah, I got this set. Um, these. Royal Majestic, can you see that? At um, Hobby Lobby, and it was a pretty big set. I think there might have been um, 10 brushes in there, and it was $20, but with their 40% coupon on, you know, it was um, it was a lot cheaper, the 40% off coupon. So I decided to get them and try them because a lot of my other brushes had gotten munched, so I'm just carefully outlining each color. Oh my gosh, I am so shaky. The flu I got, um, man, just hammered me, and I'm still getting better. Okay. Holy cow. That was that was hard. I'm having to put my hands like between the tripod. So there's there's that. Oh my gosh, Shay, for a whole set it was five dollars. That's that's really good. Yeah, I like the. I think I think my favorite, and I couldn't find it. Um, is I have a 10 over 0 liner that I really like, but I think it's in the bathroom. No, I can't even see it. It's right here. No, it's a 20 over 0. So, and I got I got this one at Michael's. It's the same, same brand as the other set I showed you. So, they make good brushes. That Royal, Royal Lang Nickel. So, munched well okay it's it's just starting to separate a little bit so I I have some brush reshaper and it will get it more to a point on this one some of the little strands stick out when I try to use it so not, not as munched as other ones but can't find a super munched brush I think I got rid of most of them um, what am I doing okay I'm painting this fluffer corn so we're gonna go ahead and put in the white of his eyeballs. So. Yeah, I call them munched brushes. It looks like when they've gotten all chewed up. And I think sometimes the rocks like to, to do that to the brushes, but then I realized too, I painted a lot of rocks, so it was about time to get new brushes anyway. Okay, so. Um, eyeballs are just circles and they're kind of big. So, we gotta put these in first before we put in all the um, fur. So, there's one eyeball. I'll probably end up putting two coats on this. 
Oh. Oh, you can screenshot. And thanks, Maxine. Amy, I think all, all brushes um, get munched, but the the higher quality brushes, I, I do think they're gonna last a while. I wouldn't go out and get like the most expensive brush um, you could find. I still get what they call like beginning or student level brushes. Um, I, I do like those the best. And um, I got some Masters brush cleaner and conditioner and that, that really helps. They sell that. I don't know if they sell it at Michael's, I know they sell it at Hobby Lobby. Um, a tub of it will be like 10 bucks, but it's probably gonna last me for a few years. And then I got some Speedball Brush Reshaper. Um, again, I think that was about $10 too. And, um, yeah, I can show it to you guys later, but you can dip your brushes in it and reshape them and um, they hold their, their tips a lot better. Um, I've been super happy because even if I only spend a couple dollars on a brush, you know, it's still a couple bucks. I want to keep it nice for as long as I can. You know, and I have some bigger brushes that were, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars um, for when I paint big canvases, which isn't often anymore. And those ones, you know, I treat them like babies because they're expensive. So. Okay, there's a second coat. Hooray! Okay, now we're ready for some fur. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, I've got earthquakes going on here. Tell me next time I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to set up this tripod. Okay, so all the fur is, is white. Okay, so we got the fluffer corn, we got this pink background, and you could do dark pink too with the, with the white. Uh, I've done that on a couple. I think the last blue one I did, I added some, some dark fur. But anyway, all you're going to do, if you can see this, is you're just going to go and add I forgot his ears, you guys. You see that? There's no ears. Hold on. Backtrack. we got to give him some ears. Ears. Just need some light pink. I can't believe I forgot his ears. It's like, I don't know, fluffer corns have to hear too, I guess. Okay. Kind of like a post that cracked me up the other day. Somebody, I think, I don't know if it was at Matula, and they're like, calling 911 because they forgot to seal a rock, or it was a joke, um, and they only had it on there with Mod Podge, that cracked me up. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, she needs ears. Okay, so, and then just a little bit of dark pink inside. Gosh, I think you guys are just making me nervous. There you go. Now that's, uh, that's better. Okay. Holy cow. Oh, it was windy. Yeah, I thought that was, <laughs> that was hilarious. I actually just started cracking up. This group cracks me up though. Holy cow. Oh, and everybody's so nice. Okay, so now we can go back to some fur. Well, like I said, then the paint pens, this is all a lot easier. But, I don't know. You guys are seeing a first fluffer corn completely by brush. So. And you can give them as much fur as you want to, or as little fur. He's getting cute. I'm gonna have to put him down for a second. So, yeah, 
I think I might add a little bit of dark pink to the sky. Yeah, so you're just gonna make them look fluffy. So little tiny brush strokes everywhere. <laughs> like little eyebrows. Okay. Mariah, did you go to Copper Hills? It just says you just joined. Okay. So, Fluff, look, he's a little angry because his horn's crooked. Okay. Um, Maybe Mariah's not here. I have a feeling that maybe Mariah was one of my students a long time ago. Um, you can. You can mix the colors when um, doing hair strokes. So, like... I don't know if you guys can see this on my brush. It's had like a little bit of white and a little bit of pink. It's not going to focus. There we go. I don't know. Kind of hard to see. Um, but yeah. And I didn't like all that pink right there. So I just kind of, while it was wet, dragged a little bit of white over it. And that will that will mix, mix the paint too. So you can just kind of drag wet over wet paint. Did that help answer your question? It was shy, right? I so want to call you Shay for some reason. Okay, so, okay. Um, okay, and then he has these like little dark circles under his eyes. Not really dark circles, but like little pink rings. So. Oh, the record art, yeah. It's, it's pretty fun. So that student did an amazing job. We just actually sent it down to a big art show in Springville, Utah, and I'm hoping that she she gets it in, so something like that. Oh, well, my rule is if I get your name wrong, you, you have to correct me, because it's just, I don't know, I want to get it right. So, now he's got to do a nose, and a nose is just an oval. Oh my gosh, we are almost done. What is that? Okay. Yeah, I'm crossing my fingers too, just mainly for the girl. It's a big honor. Um, to get in there, so. Okay, so we're going to do the um, iris parts, and this is almost as big as his eyeball, so. I'm just using some of the turquoise. I don't know, people like big-eyed, cute things, so. Tanya, people call me uh, 
<laughs> Melissa all the time if that makes you feel any better. So, I just go with it. But I, I like to get people's names right because I'm really, I don't know, I'm really bad at it. And I'm really bad at remembering people's names. I'm really good at remembering faces. But really bad at names, so. Okay. So there's. There's his eyeballs. <laughs> Jinx. Okay, so honeys, hi. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the uh, all brush puffer corn so far. So now we get to the. What I'm going to call the hard part, because. Yeah. So we're going to get some more black, and I'm using that um, 20 over 0 liner. Debbie, they call you Becky? I'm trying to read the, the comments. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to outline the white part with black, and I'm not going to talk because I'm scared. So, thin outlining on live Facebook. And I guess you wouldn't have to do this part. Like, I'm kind of regretting doing it now, but I'm already committed. Oh my, okay. That one's done. I guess he's, it's okay. He's, it's kind of thick. <laughs> well, I'll pray for the other one to be a little bit better. He's had a rough night. He has had a rough night. Horns crooked. Eyeliners smearing. Okay. So. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to fix part of this. It's going to bug me. So. Like. He has like. I don't know. Eyeliner right there. Eyeliner, that's what we'll call it. Okay, so then we just gotta do um, the pupils. Too much sparkling cider. Too much glitter. So I, I think you guys could all do this, so. Oh my gosh, I am not perfect. Holy cow. <laughs> so. I am, I am far, far from it, but I've been, um, gosh, I decided to be an artist in my 20s, so that's what I majored in in college, and then, um, went back to school late in life to get my uh, teaching certificate. So I think I went back in my, when would I would have been? 30s? Like 33 maybe? I can't remember when. I've been teaching for, it's my ninth year now, so. So I've been doing this, this for 
for a while. But yeah, definitely not perfect. Okay, so all we gotta do is this hoofs and little triangles in there. His hoofs and his, uh, I don't know, some like lines on his ears and a little shadow on his nose. You guys can wish me luck. Maybe I can do this tonight. So, and I just usually just do a little line. Like that. Oh, thanks, Melody. He's cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I really, really like teaching. I joke and say if we ever win the lottery, I'd still probably teach high school because I enjoy it so much. It would, yeah. It's a lot of work, but I, I do. At the end of the day, it's rewarding, and I do enjoy it. Plus, I get to teach art. I mean, it's it's fun to see the students grow and and learn from when I get them to when they leave, and they actually can see they can draw something or make something kind of cool. So. That's the rewarding part. Okay, so there's all the black. We are like, put this up too closer. Better. So we are some white dots away from being being finished with this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like this one. He's like, he's kind of goofy in a good way. So, I mean, if you guys ever paint a rock that you laugh at, you're like, oh my gosh, that's like absolutely crazy. It was like the morning I, I decided to paint breakfast. It's like 5 a.m. and I'm painting bacon and eggs. So. And pancakes. Because you have to have pancakes. Funny thing is I was going to cook breakfast that morning and I think I ended up cooking breakfast at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So. Okay, so I'll do some couple dots. This guy like really did party too much. And then I've been putting a little dot on his nose too. But there you go. So if you guys want to hold on for a second, I'll get that um, brush soap and I don't know the brushy shaper if you want to see it. Like two seconds. So he's done. So there you go. You guys you got to make fluffer corns in all different colors. But here's the the brush soap. I was telling you guys about it. Really saves brushes, and you can use them on oil too. It conditions them, conditions them, and keeps them nice. And then the brush reshaper. I've never used this before, but it's just this liquid that you dip a clean brush in, and I know this one's clean, so you can dip it in and you reshape it and it will dry um, kind of hard and to that point and then you just rinse it with water and it's ready to go again and it's nice and reshaped. So that's that's been um, really helping out some brushes. And it even helps some of my old ones almost become new again. So, uh, well, yeah. I don't know if you guys want me to do this again ever, but I, I can. And I don't know if you have any questions for me if you want to ask. I know there's only a few of you left, but that's, that's about it. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Maybe... I don't know.
think, waiting for the, the comments to catch up, so. Oh, what do I seal it with? Um, I usually use um, a Rust-Oleum uh, spray acrylic. It's out in the garage, though. It's the, the, the clear coat. Um, oftentimes, though, I'll put Mod Podge over it first. I don't know why, because I don't think you would really have to. Um, another one that I have that I know will work, I picked it up a long time ago. Let me grab it. I don't even know where I got this, but um, this clear coat gloss protectant. I've used um, this on a few rocks too. But um, yeah, the Rust-Oleum Clear is the, the cheapest that I found. And you can just get that at like um, Hobby Lobby and stuff. So maybe maybe I'll turn this around. So. Now if I can get this to flip up so I can, oh, hi guys, so I can see ya. Um, hi. Uh, I don't know, do you guys have um, any other questions I can, I can answer for you or any other ideas? I know Amy says, more help with eyes. Yeah, people use, um, Mod Podge. I got this at the dollar store. Um, and I had one bottle that I did 400 rocks with, but most of my rocks are small. Um, and they have a Mod Podge spray too. Um, they have all different types of Mod Podge. I would probably get the outdoor one if you needed to. Walmart has it too. So, missed how you did body. All the body is is a um, a circular furry blob. That's that's all it is. Like with light, I did light pink, so the lighter color from whatever you're using. So he's just. You guys see them? Yeah, it's it's actually it's just a circular blob and then two little strokes for the ears. And then you put white. I put white and dark dark pink for the fur. So was I at Walmart tonight? Um, I wasn't at Walmart, I was at Smith's. I think Jen found out. She found um one of my flu viruses, there was a, another germ there by their sanitation station with the, the wipes and everything, so. Oh, that's good to know that Michelle has a dishwasher safe one. I, um, I used to paint mugs and I would spray it with a, a varnish and bake them. I don't know where any of my mugs are in here. They're around. I think there's, if you look back on the wall, way back there, there's some mugs I used to paint with acrylics, but. Well, Jen, I hope you really didn't find like a real flu virus. But anyway, yeah, I don't know if you guys have any more questions for me. Um, if you, I know somebody wants a lion tutorial, still working on a portrait. One, um, trying to make it fast. One for a nose. I could try painting an eyeball. It might be easier for me just to paint a bunch of face parts quickly first, and then we could put them all together if you guys are interested. But. Oh. <laughs> London's here. Oh my gosh. I worked, uh, with London at UPS. Oh. Um, well, I'm gonna let you guys go. And if you want me to do this again, let me know. I'll be more than happy to. I'm really not, let's see, I'm not really that shy. I'm just a little bit more introverted. So um, it's good for me to do stuff like this. So I appreciate you guys watching. And please go out, make fluffercorns, and fluffercorn the world. The whole world. Peace.